Colette Marchant, played by uh, Eva Green, another uh, frequent collaborator with Tim. This is the third time they've worked together. And uh, a lot of people have asked, like, okay, so why Eva Green? She's perfect for the role. You know, she's playing a French aerialist. And, uh, you know, Eva has some background, some French background. And uh, she just really encompasses that role. She's had to get past some of her own kind of pickups with heights, as a lot of people, myself included, you know, aren't the most comfortable with heights. But she has just kind of worked so hard to, to be comfortable actually being hoisted 18 feet above the ground to, to swing around and, and, and do aerialist, uh, uh, basically an aerialist act. And uh, she has just, you know, stunned all of us in, uh, in her confidence and, and capabilities at, to be a convincing aerialist. Nico brings just a tremendous am am amount of emotion to the role. You know, it it's a challenging role. It you know, it's, it's a young girl who's lost her mother, who's being reunited with her father, and, and now feels a connection with the infant. And, and really, the challenge for that role is to create that bond. And she's able to express so much with, with, with so little. You, you know, a lot of her role is just kind of seeing the look in her eyes or, or the expression on her face and, and the emotions that she's going through. Uh, but then there's a, a very much an astute side to that character as well because she's someone that's interested in the sciences and her dreams kind of are uh, past the circus in a way like you know she she's very worldly she realizes there's a whole world out there and she's eager to explore that and, and be a part of it and contribute something to that world. I think a lot of films these days with the technology that's available you can paint a huge epic world but a lot of times you kind of get lost in that world and Tim understood that there was an importance here within these circus worlds, within, within the Medici Circus, and within Dreamland, uh, that although we see the world behind them, it is only a backdrop to the story that's taking place. And I think that's the beauty of what Tim's brought to this story. And uh, uh, it is, you know, Rick Heinrichs working with Tim, you know, another frequent collaborator going back to their early days at Disney, has helped really uh, Tim shaped this world into that grand intimacy. It's quite beautiful. The, you know, there's sets and, and scenes that look like they're lifted off of an illustrated or animated page. So uh, they've been able to kind of maintain that look and feel and beauty of that original animated film and bring it into a live action element. Colleen Atwood, a frequent collaborator with Tim. Uh, I think she's costumed most of his films over the next, last probably 30 years and uh, always does exquisite and, and beautiful work. And uh, on this movie, she's really outdone herself. Uh, the scope of the costumes that you have in this film, from uh, the dusty Midwest, you know, from costumes that you know, are a bit more worn down and dusty, to the elegance and, and the brilliance of the costumes that you see in uh, V.A. Vandiver's world. You, you know, for a costume designer to have that uh, opportunity to kind of explore this dynamic world an amazing opportunity that not only has she stepped up to, she's completely excelled at.